Hi. Hi. I love the room. I love your room. I'm like, what is up with the piano in the back? Do you play? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Child, don't be talking about yes, ma'am, but I appreciate I'm from the, the South. Right. I'm from the South. Appreciate the fact that your parents raised you right. What's your favorite <laughs> song to play on the Ivories? Oh, uh, Moon Sonata was the first song I learned, so I love that. Um, a song for you, Donnie Hathaway. I love the intro for that. Uh, a lot of favorites. Yeah, I love a song for you, too. Mm-hmm. I've been so many places. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> so let's talk about you. It's all about you. Dude, how you go from being in a horror franchise to musicals? It's like one's over here, one's over there. I mean, as an actor, as a as an entertainer, as an artist, that's that's the goal is to um, just keep pushing ourselves and uh, see what else we can do. And you know, I've just been really blessed to have a lot of opportunities to uh, do some really cool projects. And Sneakerella is a dream role for me. It allowed me to really go in my toolbox and, and pull out everything from singing to dancing to acting. You know, it, it, everything. And it's a movie for everyone. Were those sketches your sketches or did someone draw those? Did someone someone drew those? those. Now, that's one of the skills that I do. I, I was <laughs> You're like, I got a lot of skills, but that would not I be one of them. I have some skills. Uh, uh, art in the drawing format is not one of them at this point in time. <laughs> Tell me where your name came from. Uh, my, my dad named me. There's a whole story, but I I'm going to butcher it. So I need to hear I, it. I, I don't. I don't know it. I don't know it right. I always say it, and then my mom's like, "Chosen." That's not it. I wasn't there. I I, I wasn't there. I will say. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'll, I'll ne- look, next time I will have it together. I'll have okay. it together. Okay, I'll let you off the hook for that one. So I know you've Thanks. been singing since the age of six with the Georgia Boys Choir. Yes, yes ma'am. What is your favorite musical theater role to date? I think I'm biased because the first, the first like musical theater I ever really saw was. The King and I, and I really loved, that was the first time I ever went to the Fox Theater in Atlanta, and that was my first time ever doing theater on that level, and like, I was just like on the ensemble, but it was so epic, so i say The King and I uh, is one of my favorites, I have to say. Okay, yeah. Lexi and I were talking, because I know she was Nala in The Lion, Lion King, King. Was, yeah. and I was Shinzi in The Lion King, so I was like, what? let's find out from Chosen what his favorite musical is. Yes. Yes. And you you literally are like the Prince Charming in this scenario. What how did you feel like stepping into that shoe? So it was, it was <laughs> awesome. I mean, like I never would have guessed to be like Cinderella, like whoever would have thought they would flip it like that. So it was not even a, a dream I was able to have. And for it to be a reality now is so cool. Such a, a blessing. Like did you like the gender flip and that the instead of a slipper, it was the sneaks? Yeah, I thought it was cool because I feel like Cinderella is an ideal. It's, a, it's not just, just a, a physical attribute. It's, it's an underdog. It's a character who's been given cards that uh, and has to learn how to flip them and has to learn how to persevere through them uh, so gracefully. So I, I was just very happy to be able to uh, continue that legacy and have the baton passed to me. Cool. Well, I'm going to pass another baton to you. And see you later. <laughs> Ma'am. But thank you so much, Chosen. This was a lot of fun. I wish thank you well. So much. I wish you the best. God bless you.